This is the Eastman Chickadee 2. Uh, I picked this up off of eBay uh, a few years back, but just recently a friend of mine was asking about scissors and uh, cutting materials, and this brought up uh, into the topic of conversation. Uh, this is the Chickadee 2, 120 volt, 40 watts. Uh, 40 watts doesn't sound like much, but when it comes to cutting materials, especially when you have a small graphite brush motor running through a little worm gear, driving the blade, uh, gives you quite a bit of torque. Uh, this little guy here, eBay had listed it as, it worked very well at one time, and then uh, after sounded like some service, it never really wanted to work again. Uh, didn't seem to want to cut anymore. Well, I received this uh, in the box. Come to find out, the blade here, you might notice that is just flat on one side. On the other side, it's beveled where the cutting edge is formed. Now, this sharp edge down here, this is a very, very sharp blade. What they had done was they had the blade flipped around backwards and the bevel was on the outside. The bevel is supposed to ride along this little piece of little piece of carbide right here, and that little piece of carbide carbide uh, causes the shearing action, just like a pair of scissors does. This just continuously rotates against it, rubbing on that. Now, my suspicions are they fixed the cord here after running it through the device. Now, that most likely when running it through it like that, I'm going to guess it probably arced out against that blade, probably knocked it, bought a new blade put it on there, never worked again. Uh, so, after I got it, I put the blade back on right, and then it does have a little sharpener against the side here. You push this in, little stone goes against the bevel, and upon that, brings it back to a nice sharp edge. Switch is just simply a little micro switch inside, just basically push on there, a little paddle, push it in, run that in here. Just just like that, just to sharpen it, just short little pulses. You don't want to overheat that blade. You want to keep it nice and cool while you're sharpening it. Overheat it, and you're going to take the temper out of it. High speed steel, probably take quite a bit, but still, just will protect that piece of tool. Uh, I did notice on the web there was somebody else showed a little chickadee too. They cut through some denim. Um, that's good demo, uh, but I just want to show some of the other materials that this thing will cut. Uh, compared to a pair of scissors, it's amazing after uh, growing up in my mother's upholstery shop to see this thing cut through materials that normally are quite hard to cut through when you're using a pair of scissors. Also, one thing my mother would just have a fit about is if you picked up a good pair of her upholstery shears and picked them up and uh, decided to do some little home art craft project for school and grab some paper and uh, cut through it. As for these, uh, they really don't know the difference and for what paper I've cut with them and such, um, it's kind of fun. Basically, just run them through, nice and easy. Cuts nice and clean. You can pretty much get really artistic with it. And just basically strip stuff out of there. Now, as for the denim, guy on the eBay, guy had uh, demonstrated that they cut denim well. Um, they do do this well. You can see that even through the seams of this is pretty heavy denim for denim nowadays, and it uh, cuts through it with ease. You wouldn't even know that the machine is even working. Uh, take it, let's try doubling it over here. I'd like to see somebody try this with just a regular pair of scissors. This will load up to, I think, about close to a half an inch of material, so still doesn't even sound like it's working. One type of material here, let's see here, kind of a thin, felty, almost velvety material here. Uh, this stuff can be a little bit tricky to cut with scissors. You've got to have something that's pretty sharp. As for this machine, it really doesn't know the difference. Little cords and everything going through here, zip right through them. You can pretty much make short work of whatever you want. Now, as for cutting terry cloth material, this is actually some scrap that I had left over from a nice set of Ralph Lauren towels here. And pretty thick material. And this stuff is very easily cut with these shears. Wouldn't even know it's there. Take it again here. 
four washcloths about that easy. All right, how about this? Here we go, ultra suede. This is one of those materials here that uh, cutting with scissors can get really tiresome. I, it's something about the, just the, the type of material, it's kind of springy-like, but it also, it's like cutting leather. Uh, scissors wise it's really hard to get it cut without getting that jagged looking edge to it you gotta be basically pretty well practiced in using it um, with this you can sit there and just drive all day long on it and never ever get tired running through ultra suede um, linens <laughs> I don't know why I'm demonstrating this there's a old pillowcase here I don't even know that it's there But as for cutting around something, let's see if we can get a little stuff like that, linen. How about some canvas? Two layers of canvas here. I have a heavier layer canvas. I'm just going to cut the edge off here. Wouldn't even know that that material was there very very difficult piece of fabric to cut it's real springy uh, kind of mesh like kind of like what they make jerseys and such out of uh, this material uh, can be quite troublesome to cut with scissors will constantly want to fold over the blade this you, you see just go through and if you did have something that was a sheer material that you couldn't really cut very well with they do offer other blades this is a hexagon shaped blade uh, they say it's for hard to cut materials. I'm not sure if that means for sheer materials or as one of their demos they had on their website uh, they were cutting fiberglass and uh, carbon fiber cloth with it. Uh, I have not used this blade. I haven't had a use for it yet but uh, maybe someday. Anyway that's the chickadee there. If you come across one of these on the web don't be afraid of it. They do offer all the parts you need for it. Works well.